Loving all you reckless lovers Or you might wind up like pretty Hanali Your dusty eyes were sad and glowing When first I met you on the lee I took your love but without knowing the sorrow you're bring to me What'd you say, kid? I said, what did you scare the birds for? Take my horse around to the livery stable. Tell them to water him easy and give him some hay. Who was your slave last year? Oh, hey, big bully, why don't you pick on some of your own stuff? A couple of cannonballs. I said a couple of cannonballs. That'll be one dollar, mister. Fifty cents a drink? Freight rates are high, mister. I'll only need about five more cattle cars on the 17th. That's five on the 17th. I'll only need ten myself. On the same date? Right. This came in. Never saw him before. These ten for me should just about do it. Got a good livery stable around here? Stivers is right in back. Wouldn't say it's too good, but it'll probably do. You mean it'll be, huh? I saw Stivers' kid out in front a while ago. He could show you where it is. He just said me pa wasn't doing anything. Which fellow was it, Willis? Well, Sim pa wasn't doing anything. What do you mean by hitting my kid? You better go back to your stable and take my horse with you. Anyway, you look like you need the business. I don't know how old you are, but it beats me how you lived this long, being so reckless. You're a little reckless yourself, mister. It's a good-looking gun you've got there. Try keeping it in your holster. Go along, Gary. Go pat yourself up. All right, everybody. Let's all sit down and be happy. Give him a drink, Paul. Fix the others drink, too. Am I drinking alone? Mr. what? Crow? Bus Crow? From Laredo? From oh, Laredo. Happen to know where a man can get a good job? With cattle, Mr. Crow? That could be all right. Tell him, Pulse. Well, the big outfits are cutting down. Drifters moving in. Taking up the land, putting up fences. Seems to be plenty of brand changing going on, too. Take them fellows over there. They're the big outfits. Not one of them is running as many cattle as last year. Some have even been selling their breeding cattle. Doesn't sound like the job prospects are very good. You look real grown up. Draw your own conclusions. <laughs>
makes the third in two days. That's the worst job of butchering I've ever seen. When I was a kid, Indians used to butcher our cattle and just take the tenderloin. Well, whoever done this is just about as bad. Tracks go south, toward the end of the ridge. South. Below, huh? Mm -hmm. You know the fellow that moved into the house next to the old dry springs? He drilled well down there. What's his name? Miller. He had about nine head the other day. Let's take a see how many he's got now, huh? I don't like to be accused. Nobody's accused you of anything. I was riding by there this morning and saw the bird circling and wondered what happened. But stopping and looking don't mean I butchered that beef. You got blood and grease on you right now. That don't mean nothing either. I had to shoot ahead of my own stock this morning. I got a right to butcher what belongs to me, don't I? You better be sure it's your own beef. I am. You're a liar. My words, it is yours. Come on, let's go. What happened up on the north range? They cut up three more ahead and ran off about 20 on the lower range. Start putting up fences and leave a couple of extra boys around each herd. We picked up a trail that led to the South Ridge, squatter's place, named Miller. Looked like he just butchered a steer. Had a hide hung up, but the brand was cut out. All right, Crayshaw, go put on those extra boys, like I said. You men better go with him. enough. Between the three of us, we've lost about 50 head of beef in the last week. It's time I've half an ocean to sell out completely. I can't believe you mean that, Britain. You let a small, shiftless bunch of newcomers chase you off your own land, stampede your stock, butcher your beef. Well, how are you going to stop them? There's never any evidence. I think we have a way of dealing with this problem. What way? Hire bus crow. No, I'd rather go out of business entirely than be mixed up with any kind of violence. We can handle this in such a way that even he won't know who's hiring him. He'll know, and so will everyone else. We're the only cattle holders of any importance around here. But there won't be any real connection with us. It could be any single one of us who hired him. How are they going to prove which one? Or that it was any of us? Yeah, let them prove it. Like we've been batting our heads against the wall trying to prove they raided our herds. Well, how do we know that Crow will go along with us? I've heard of Crow. He's been a paid gun all the way from Laredo to Kansas City. He'll come along with us for a price. How would you arrange it? We leads Annie up so much money. I know how to handle it from there on. Uh, I don't like it. You better count me out. I'm afraid you're outvoted, John. We're going to have to count you in. I guess I have no choice in the matter. But let's give them fair warning first to stay off our ranges. All right, John. We'll give them fair warning. Jack came across the street. <laughs> Not after I watched him clean you out. On your feet. Let's go now. Quiet. Put your hands in your pockets. Now keep them there. When you get a message, why don't you do like you're told? Someone wants to talk to you. When you go in there, kind of do what he says. I don't like talking to strangers. What's this all about? The fella says to tell you there'll be a curtain between the rooms. Don't touch the curtains. Why not? From the way he talked, if I were you, I'd do as he says. Go on in. Put your hands up when you get on the inside. Is 
sit down. Put your hands on the table and don't try anything. I have a shotgun pointing right at you. What do you want? Want to hire you. Judging from the way you hire, it must be a pleasant job. We can make it a profitable one. Who's we? Let's say it's me. Go on, I'm listening. You'll be given a list of names. You will notify these men they get out. Leave this part of the country. What the men on the list do? If they continue to do any more, they'll run us out of business. They've stolen and slaughtered our beef. Drifted onto our land. There are a lot of people here first and they intend to stay. What if these drifters intend to stay too? That'll be up to you. You'll get $600 for every man that ain't around here anymore. Why notify him? Why don't I just go out and shoot him down? Nobody wants that. Have fair warning. I don't want cold murder. I want to hire a police force in your red. I've been kind of busy doing my own killing. If you want him killed, why don't you do it yourself? Open a drawer in front of you. That envelope's got the names of the first two men. It's also got $600 cash in advance. Why don't I get the whole list? Get more names, also more money. See how you do on this. Good health and success to Holly McLaren. 
I shudder to think how dull life would be hereabouts without her. Just right, Hallie. See, many females will trust our men folks, too. <laughs> Nonsense. It ain't a matter of trusting. Truth is, we women know that the best them will stray once in a while, and if they do, it's a comfort to know that they're straying in a well-kept pasture where we can find them. <laughs> How's about that dance, Hallie? Well, nothing doing. Hallie promised me this dance. John, you old mountain goat, you'll have to set this one out. <laughs> it's a mighty pretty toast, too. Oh, just a minute, Jeff. I'll be right there. Willie, what are you doing in town this night? I drove me and had some work to do at the stable. Haven't you even had any dinner? Nope. You come right along with me. What's wrong with inviting me in? The private party. Yeah, I know. I uh, read the sign. You know the place is closed tonight to the public. Ain't the public good enough for them? It isn't a matter of being good enough. Private party, that. You just said that. Happens that I like private parties. Even when you're not invited? That's what I like them the most. I the gallows. Long is the rope that wait for me. Take warning, all you reckless lovers. For they hung that pretty devil on the leaf. You're just the when I know, I know. Private party. No harm in a fellow just watching, is there? No, I guess not. I'll have some of that sour milk. Okay. You shot to kill your cruel husband because you found you loved me. The truth you would not tell the jury, and they blame me for your sin, oh, Hi, hi, hi. The man that gone, I are the gallows. Got to tell the truth, you devil. Tell him that you did the part. I left the jail. You see who just came in? I heard you tell him you had lied. Yes. Who invited you? I don't know. Let's try to find out. So you hung your pretty head and cried. I, I, I.
Don't worry, Hallie. Ma and me, we'll take him home. Come on, Pa. We'll see that he gets home all right. Oh, well, good. Now I know he'll get home. Good night, Willie. Good night, Hallie. That'll be all tonight, Pa. Finish cleaning up. All right. Charlie Bevan in dead. We want to know what you intend doing about it. Well, if you can tell me who did it, I'll arrest him. If a jury finds him guilty, I'll hang him. What more do you expect me to do? What did you do if it was one of your own people instead of a stranger? Charlie Bevan wasn't any stranger. Yes, he was. Charlie's lived here most of a year. I've been around more than that. But we'll always be strangers as far as you townspeople are concerned. Well, maybe that's your own fault. Maybe. Sure. Lots of people who are drifting in are guilty of rustling and butchering. But a lot of us are law-abiding people. Then why don't you let the law take care of this? You ain't even start investigating them really yet. I investigated it, Mr. Stiles. Not all you did was look at him. It was a good riddance. Now you're being honest. There was a note at the Miller's warning them to get out. We found a note just like it at Beverage Shack. You can't tell me that somebody isn't being paid to drive us all out. I don't know who left those notes. A lot of people would be glad to see you and them like you. Now, we aren't going to get out. We got as much right around here as anybody. You fellas just moved in and sat down. People here have been around for 20 years. They're all on grants or places they homestead. What do you think? We're homesteaders, too. We're doing just exactly what you did 20 years ago. Now, if you can't protect us, maybe... Well, maybe organize and protect ourselves. You're pretty brave, Mr. Bainbridge. No. No, I'm not brave. I'm scared. I may be a stranger to you, Sheriff, but I've built my home here. I've got a family. I want to live here. I want to live here in peace and in safety. Well, what do you expect me to do? We're being fought with a gun. A hired gun. It's money that's fighting us. So maybe that's the way we got to fight back. And if the local sheriff can't protect us, maybe we'd better get a United States Marshal down here who can. Go ahead. Good luck. Thanks. 
Maybe we need it. A note on the bar, and I... I'm next. What are we gonna do? Go quick. Ride into town. Get... I don't want to leave you. I don't want you here. No. Get Stiver. Get... Get Reynolds. Get all the others. Tell them to get out here. Every one of them just as fast as they can. Hurry. Shove those mules overboard and let them swim ashore. <laughs> what about them Spaniards? Did they give you any trouble? They were shooting at us all right, but we got through them. They couldn't have been very good fighters. The only good fighters are live ones. Guess you had to kill a lot of them, huh? When it comes to killing, I guess I got a corner on the market. How many did you kill? I don't count Indians or Spaniards. I'd say exactly 67. It's a bunch of folks. Speaking of Cuba, any of you boys match this little souvenir from Daiquiri Beach? What do you know about Daiquiri Beach? 
Oh, not too much, mister. I don't know too much about Dykery Beach, but you look kind of familiar to me. Yeah? Well, you look like a stranger to me. What's your name, stranger? Some call me one thing, some another. What do most of them call you? Rochelle. Sam Rochelle. Ah, feel the marshal. Give the marshal a drink. What do you expect to find at Pearl City, Marshal? Pearls? <laughs> Maybe pearls. Maybe swine. I said, what do you know about Dykery Beach? I always understood it was Colonel Roosevelt who gave the orders to swim those mules ashore. You heard me say I gave that order. I didn't give it. I know you didn't. Well, gentlemen, I guess I'll get settled in the hotel. Good afternoon, Mr. Crow. I think you're doing very well for the amount of time you've been here. People aren't very talkative. They're scared. That's why I'm glad you're here. I had an idea the reward would bring in somebody like you. Thanks. But I didn't come all this way just to collect a reward. Yeah, that Marshal's a pretty good man. Cheyenne, even down in Omaha, where he comes from. He's one of the best marshals in the business. We'll have to take care of him some way. I'll bet ten dollars. I'll call. How many people have moved off our ranges? I checked today. Only five families. It's not enough. You think money do any good? Not with this man. Two pair. I was holding a kicker. Three jacks. I suggest we let Crow take care of a few more. Then they'll all pack up and move out. Haven't we had enough killing already? Better yet, let Crow take care of the marshal. No, that would be too obvious. Yeah, I guess you're right. We'll have to get somebody else to approach the marshal. The sooner the better. This is what I've been afraid of from the beginning. Now we're going to have to get rid of the United States Marshal. That's right, John. Miller. Eight millimeter Monlicker shell shot in the back. Bevan. Shell left beside body, same type cartridge. Bainbridge. Killed by eight millimeter bullet at close range by unidentified man. Don't go for your gun, Marshal. I want to talk to you. Put your hands up. Such a hands, not just one hand. Sorry. Don't be sorry. 
So don't try for the gun on the bedpost. Come on in. Maybe we can talk this over. I wasn't sent here to talk. I was sent here to kill you. Who sent you? Fella. Give me a hundred dollars. Said he'd give me another hundred when the job was finished. Only two hundred dollars for killing me? Marshals don't come very high around here. That's not what I'm talking about. It's a pretty fair reward for the man who's been doing all this killing. If I was to tell you his name, he turned out to be the killer. Do we split the reward? Sounds interesting. All right, is it a deal? How can I trust you? The fellow who sent you here couldn't. You're gonna have to trust me, mister. Jeff Montgomery. It's all, folks. I just had to kill a burglar. What happened, Marshal? He tried to rob. Of what? Of my life, for one thing. Crashaw. Maybe that'll mean an end of all the killings we've had around here. I don't think so, Sheriff. brought you present. Kind of fancy, isn't it? Not tonight. I feel like celebrating. Open it. Maybe I'm just happy. Then let's drink to us. To us. You must have had good news. It could be the best. Something secret? No. I'm celebrating because of Crashaw. What have you got against Crashaw? Nothing. When Crashaw was killed, it cleared up a lot of things around here. I didn't know he amounted to that much. He didn't. But you do. What's that got to do with me? 
bus. Lots of people thought you were guilty of the killings. I expected them to. You didn't care. Nobody cares if a man's killed as long as he deserves killing. That's why I never believed you did these. You didn't? Why didn't you believe it, Hallie? Miller was shot in the back. I know you wouldn't shoot a man in the back. They're killing the scraper doesn't if a man's cut in two frontwards or backwards. What difference does it make now, anyway? Make the difference to you. I have a feeling Marsha Rochelle still thinks it was you. I want to help you. I don't need any help. If he decides to arrest you, you will need help. A lot of it. Why should Rochelle arrest me? Why should anyone arrest me? You've got a lot of circumstantial evidence. He's got no evidence against me. They'll never have any listen evidence. Listen to me, Buss. I'm not afraid of Rochelle. I don't care what he's got. Buss, you've got to listen to me. It's only natural he'd suspect you. Everyone knows you've lived by the gun. The killing started right after you arrived. You were broke when you got here, and all of a sudden you had money. Someone could have hired you and paid you well. They know the same man did them all. He left empty shells all of a kind. They know that... All right, if I did them, then where's my rifle? Well, you could have hidden it anywhere. I thought you said you didn't believe I did it. I don't. You fill up a pretty strong case against me. Boss, I wouldn't be here if I believed you did them. What if I did do them? What would you think then? I'd think you ought to hang. Coming from you, that's funny. Are you so free from sin? Do you think I'd be here if I was? If I'm guilty, you're just as guilty as I am. You had a hand in hiring me. Hiring you? You don't think I believe that story about a note being left in your dresser. You don't think I... You did do that. It was you. I didn't know. I didn't know then and I don't know now who wanted to meet you. And I'm afraid I didn't know you. What makes me any worse than them that hired me? You're no worse. You all have the same stench. Ain't you even gonna kiss me goodbye? If you ever touch me again, I'll kill you. There's more to that bargain, Hallie. You open your mouth about what I just said and I'll kill you. You already have. I have a lot of work to do. Don't tell me you're busy on the ledgers this early. Learning a business, Paulson. What's so peculiar about being busy with the ledgers? I don't bite my head off, Hallie. There's nothing peculiar about it, I guess. It's just that I was surprised at seeing you here so early. I'm sorry. I have a lot on my mind. Go check the bar for me, will you? When you have problems, I... I wish you'd let me take care of them. I could be a lot of help to you if you'd just let me. You can help me the most by just doing your work and leaving me alone. You sure up early? Good morning, Bob. Is the marshal up here? Land sakes, yes. He's been up to two hours. Uh, what room is he in? I want to talk to him. Oh, no, his room ain't going to help you see him. He's gone already. Oh, do you have any idea where he went? Thank you. He could be most anywhere. That man gets around. Right now, I'd say he'd be around the sheriff's office. Oh, I see. Well, maybe I'll find him there. He ain't asked the reward, are you? No, Bob. I'm not after you. Why? You knew where to find me. 
I understand you've questioned nearly everyone in town. Did you have any questions to ask me? Quite a few. But I seem to remember you don't like being questioned. What's the matter, Hallie? Nothing. I also remember that you asked me not to try to see you again. I can't imagine that my feelings would interfere with you doing your job. They didn't then, did they? Doing my job wasn't easy, Hallie. Maybe I was foolish to hope you'd understand. I was foolish too, Sam. Foolish to believe that our love was more important than that badge. That's unfair. What's unfair about it? You forced me to answer questions that helped convict an innocent man. He wasn't innocent. I believe he was. I can understand that. He was your brother. But were you a fair judge? Who should be the judge? You? That badge? That tin star with Marshall stamped on it? You know, that badge is almost all I can remember about you, Sam. But I can remember other things. It was an office just like this, wasn't it? And the man behind bars, pacing just like him. Only I knew that other man. And I loved him. What are you trying to tell me, Hallie? That you're in love with someone else who's also outside the law? What do you mean? It rubs you the wrong way to think you're in love with a hired gunfighter, doesn't it, Hallie? Yells a bus crow's trademark, is that what you're here to tell me? I didn't come here to tell you anything, Marshal. Hallie, if there are any more killings and there's something you can tell me and don't, you'll be just as guilty as the one who commits them. You're wearing the badge. You decide who's guilty. It's your job. It's your job too, Hallie. Why? Why should I job? You're smug, aren't you? The stout-hearted, righteous Marshal upholding law and order. Even telling me who I should love. Well, I didn't come here to tell you anything. You want information? Get it yourself. That's what you're being paid for. You want to know about Crow and me? Ask him. Get the facts from him. Ask him about me. I want to ask him about Bainbridge. He's in his hotel room. Ask him. I want you to tell me, Hallie. You. Don't you understand? And don't you understand? I won't help you convict another man. What happened back there? 
What'd you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. Leave me alone. Run away. I just want to talk to you. You saw the marshal. What'd you say to him? I told you I didn't say anything. Why didn't you say anything? I couldn't. Of course you couldn't. I'm glad you couldn't. Oh, take your hands off me. Did you think it was because of you? You're worse than an animal you kill without reason. It wasn't because of you, but because of me. I couldn't kill, not even you. What makes you do these things? What I'm best at. Oh, go away. Go away and leave these people alone. You go on in alone, May. Cal dropped the cat, but he can't find it. I want Willie to help me. All right. Be back in an hour or so. Goodbye, Willie. Bye, Mom. Willie, you look over in the slopes, and I'll go over to the far hill. All right, Dad. Marshal, all I can tell you is what the sheriff told you. You find us some clues, we'll work on them. Here's a clue. A big one. You're the sheriff's deputy. What have you been doing about this? We found out that they all come from the same gun. It's a foreign gun. We've never seen one like it. Well, I have. A lot of them. It's a monlicker. We use them in... We use them in Cuba. All right. Now, whose gun is it? Where is it? Did you ever think of questioning Bus Crow? Why should we? Well, he's a stranger here. He arrived about the time the killing started. You know his reputation. Marshal, we're trying to do this thing according to due process of law. Sure, we thought about Buzz Crow. What you said is no evidence against him. I happen to know Crow was in Cuba, too. There's still no evidence. Women and children crying. A good man like Gus Bainbridge shot down in cold blood. That ought to be evidence enough. Marshal, the only evidence we can use is that gun. I'll go along with you at due process of law. The only evidence you can use is the gun. All right.
Where'd you find them? Just north of the house. Try keeping it shut now. What are we going to do about it, Sheriff? That's right. What are we going to do about it? I can tell you right quick what we're not going to do. We're not going to go wild, forget the proper procedures of the law. We're just as much to blame for this as whoever fired the shot. And of all people, I feel I'm the most to blame. Now go home, all of you. Let the law handle this. Meaning you, Sheriff? I deserve that shit. No, I don't mean me. The marshal will bring him in. And whoever else is involved will be dealt with as well. Now, go on home, all of you. Like I asked you to. <laughs> Where it is, Mr. Crow. Don't move. I'll take your gun belt, too.
When first I met you, how I took your love, but without knowing the sorrow your caress would bring, you shot and killed. You can't kill the way I can. I had to. Nobody cares if a man's killed. As long as he deserves killing. He was wrong, Hallie. I was wrong, too. 